Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, praise God, all week we've been sharing. Ah, this is exciting, <laughs> praise God. And hey, today is Friday, so go get from Monday, at least, at least. If not, go get from the beginning of this series, get from episode one and listen and watch and watch and watch and keep getting blessed until you are full of truth. See, let me tell you the truth. Things happen when you watch these this, this messages. The sick get healed while they're watching. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Have expectations when you're watching. People are delivered. People come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's the most important deliverance that you will ever have. Praise God. Hey, are you ready to comfort your daily bread? Now, this is weekend you're stepping into. You've got to be serious about your daily bread and receiving it today. Praise God. Join me in faith right now. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Miracles are taking place in your life. There's supply. There's, there's a door of supply that has been opened to you. And you shall receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see someone, there's a particular thing you've been looking for for quite a while. You've been looking for, a, 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 there's actually a document that you're looking for. And you're beginning to zero your mind that someone actually stole it. You're going to find that document this weekend. Father, I ask that you lead him to where that document is right now. Let them find it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the Lord just told me that, so I had to share that with you. If you're the one, receive your testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, I see someone, um, you, are, you are convinced in your heart that you're having some mental, mental issues. I said, you are convinced. Now, we will speak things like that. We speak it the way, by the Spirit of God, we speak it the way you will understand it, that you know, okay, this is me you're talking about. <laughs> Praise God, yeah. So, you are convinced that you're having some mental issues. And you, you're relating it to some spiritual activity. Demons, demonic spirits. So, you hear voices, you see things. Listen to me. Stop worrying about where it came from. Because they are leaving you right now. All those experiences are ceasing. They will cease right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I command those voices in your head to stop. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command your freedom right now. Be free. Be free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've been so oppressed that sometimes you actually, you, you struggle. You, you, you feel you know what you want to do, but you struggle with this noise and things you hear thank you can you put your hands in your ears just just put it like this out in the name of jesus christ amen praise god thank you always you're free oh you are free you are you knew something just happened to you you're free and i'd like to hear from you Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. So we were talking about how do I lay up treasure in heaven? It's important. It's so important. <laughs> Praise God. Now, I was teaching you now, yesterday, how do we lay up treasure in heaven? Laying up your treasure in heaven is synonymous with living eternal life. And I'm going to explain that to you today. Hey. When you give by the instruction of the Holy Spirit, every giving you give 
be it your tithes, be it your offerings, be it giving alms to the poor, be it um, whatever giving you call it, it must be directed by the Holy Spirit. Now, in this man's case, that we read uh, the, the rich young ruler, that we read uh, even from Luke 18, Jesus expressly told him, Go sell everything you have given to the poor. Does that mean everybody should go and sell what they have and give to the poor and think they now have treasure in heaven? No, sir. No. The command was given to him by Jesus. And Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, now remember the guy has a history. He's gotten a history of obeying God's word. He's gotten a history of keeping the law. He was a good man. He loved God. He kept God's word. And Jesus looked at him and loved him and said, If you want to be perfect, if you want to live a perfect life, now what was he talking about? If you really want to live eternal life, do this. Now, most times, even, even, even uh, when we, we, we've talked about eternal life. Guess what things we focused on? Oh, eternal life makes you not to be sick. Eternal life makes you not to die. Eternal life makes you fantastic. So we are talking about it in terms of our bodies. See, what our bodies can contain and express. But also eternal life has to do with the way and manner we live. The conditions of our, uh, the conditions or the atmosphere of our existence. That has to do with eternal life also. So, it is eternal life with God when there is no sign at all. He tells you it's going to rain. There is no sign. You check the weather forecast, nothing. And suddenly the rain comes. How? That's eternal life. It was eternal life for Jesus to tell Peter, Peter, I'll pay for the 12. Peter said, no, sir, I don't have money. You, you don't have money. All right, take your hook, go to the fish. Go to this uh, river. The first fish you catch, open the mouth, you see coins inside. That's a total life. Because you need money, a fish got to go get some money for you. That's a total life. You see that now? So now it was a total life Jesus was displaying when he took those five loaves of bread and two fishes, blessed it, and multiplied it to over 5,000 people. That's a total life. You see, eternal life doesn't restrict you. Limits are gone from your life. What restricts men are no longer in your life. That's eternal life. So Jesus was leading this man into those operations. And he told him, go sell everything you have given to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. So I said, when you give by the instruction of the Spirit of God, that's the same thing that's said by the instruction of Jesus. When you give based on that, now you have your tithe you want to give. You know, we, 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 we give tithe so religiously and we've not been really taught the truth. And that's why I'm teaching you these things. It's important you tithe. Anyone who tells you not to tithe is wicked to your soul. I'm telling you the truth, he's, he's an enemy. I've told you before, that person is walking by the spirit of the Antichrist with all due respect. I didn't say that person is the Antichrist. I say he is walking because he has submitted himself to function by the spirit of the Antichrist where tithing and prosperity is concerned. Yeah, because that's one of the ways you lay up your treasure in heaven. When you bring your tithe over to the Lord, you say, Lord, thank you for blessing me. I remember and I acknowledge this blessing for you. And so, Lord, as an acknowledgement to you, 
I bring my tithes in honor to your name. Now here's your money. It is money. Tithe belongs to God. It never changed. It never changed. And the seed of Abraham are instructed to tithe. That is what we do today that shows we are the seed of Abraham. See that now? So you bring that tithe to the Lord and let him instruct you what to do with it. Now, when you obey his instruction, hey, you have moved that money from earth to him. When you obey his instruction, when to give, you want to give to a poor person. Don't just say, oh, take, take money. Hmm. You know, what should I give? Yes. Sometimes, even when you give beggars, you should ask him, Lord, I feel like giving this person some money. Should I go ahead? The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And guess what will happen? He will direct your path. So what stops you of saying, Lord, where should I send this tithe to? What are you doing? You're acknowledging him in that way of tithe. Lord, I have some money I want to give to help some people. Who should I give it to? In all your ways, acknowledge him. See that? Now, what will he do? He begins to direct. Give it no, don't give that amount. Give us all amount. Thank you, sir. But all these givings you do, you're offering in church. You don't go to church and the offering time, blessing time, start looking for the money or change. Ah, how much? Ah, did I carry money? Oh, yes, there's money in this my pocket. And then I believe that. Come on now. Come on. You knew you were going to church. You were supposed to prepare for that service. See? You're preparing, you're going to the house of the Lord. As we say it, you need to prepare yourself. You see, and it's so funny. You ironed your clothes yesterday. You ironed your clothes the day before Sunday. See? Why? Or some of you were ironing days before. Or you chose what you were going to wear next Sunday. It's already prepared and kept in your wardrobe. So you, you, you prepare how you're going to dress for the service. And then you don't prepare how you're going to receive and how you're going to give during the service. It's wrong. It's wrong. Why are you preparing for the service? Preferably, if you're going for a morning service on Sunday. Preferably, take a day before the night before and go before the Lord and say, Lord, we're going for service tomorrow. I just want to honor you and worship you and receive your word. Lord, is there anything you will have me do? And Lord, I, I want to give you an offering. What offering should I give you tomorrow? Yes. And be quiet before him. Sometimes you'll be amazed what he will tell. But here's the beauty of it. Every instruction he gives you, opens the gateway to move your finances from here to there. So you're moving it from your local bank to your international account. That's exactly what you're doing. And guess what? What's about that account? The account is already loaded. In Not because you gave $100 this month. So it now becomes, it's only $100 that you have in the account. No, sir. The account came loaded. When you open that bank account, praise God. I'm telling you the truth. Because you are a joint heir with Christ. This is actually the mentality. Remember, Jesus was relating this to eternal life. So when I give eternally, what do you mean give eternally? By the Spirit. You see that now? So we don't give in the flesh. We give by the instruction of the Spirit. Yeah. Paul speaking says, I come to suffer yeah. In Galatians, he says, Those that give in the flesh shall reap corruption. But those that give by the Spirit reap eternal life. You see that now? That's how it operates. So, 
because I give by the instruction of the Spirit of God, I'm walking in eternal life. So, okay, now I give and I've been given by the Spirit of God. The Lord has been instructing me to give. Uh -huh. So what next? Withdraw our time. Hey, coolly, uh, hey, that's the sweetest part. Withdraw our time, praise God. Now, this is how the light has taught us concerning our finances and our banking system. We have a banking system from heaven. So how do I withdraw? Simple. Having this confidence now that you have an account in heaven and that account is loaded. Question now is what do you need? Oh, I need money to pay my school fees. Okay. Ask. Ask with the confidence of one who has it. Not one who's begging for it. Remember what Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread. That's not begging. That's asking like one who already knows that there is such a thing that is called daily bread and it belongs to us. And you see, so even Jesus in the Lord's Prayer, what we call the Lord's Prayer, was giving us the idea that there is something there, up there for you. Give us this day our daily bread. So there is a daily release from heaven for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, beyond your daily bread. Now, daily bread actually means everything you will need to operate and function today. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's there in heaven for you. Not waiting for you when you get to heaven. Mm -mm. We, we, I cover it. we operate from heaven already because we live eternal life. We have eternal life. For God so loved the world, the world that he gave his only because that whosoever believes should not perish but have eternal life. This life is in his son. He that has the son has life. What life? Eternal life. But now you see that you need the light you need him who is the light to guide you in the path of eternal life. So I, I need money for my school fees. Father, I want to make some withdrawals because I, I, I need to pay my school fees. Now that's how you approach God. Oh God, if I don't pay these school fees tomorrow, they won't they will let me write my exam. Uh-uh. 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 Lord, I need to make some withdrawals. The same way you go to your bank and write that form. You don't go to a bank you don't have money. <laughs> it's God. Yeah, you don't. You go to the bank that you know you have money. And then you fill those forms and, and, and write the check. And I want to make a withdrawal. And then you give it to them and you wait for them to give you the money. It's the same way, brothers and sisters. Father, I, I, I need to make some withdrawals today for my fees or for, for, for my bills, for my rent, for whatever it is, Lord. Now, so is, is it that simple? You see, the talking like I did looks so simple, but the heart is where the work is. Where your heart is. Now, you remember what Jesus said? Where your heart is is or where your treasure is there your heart will be also because you have put your money now if your money is in bank a y z now you need some money you're going to think of how to transport yourself all the way to bank a y z or use their bank app you understand what i'm talking about now because that's where your treasure is if your treasure is in heaven now this is free information for you. What is in heaven is far bigger than what you can imagine. So Lord, I want to make withdrawal for so so and so purpose. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have money in heaven. 
I have treasure in you. I have treasure. It must be in your consciousness. It's my money I'm with joy. Oh God, give me one. No, you're withdrawing your money. Yeah, but, but, but now, this year, I don't think I'm even giving up to 100,000 as often. No, it doesn't matter. Even if it's one, one, one naira or ten dollars you gave as offering, it doesn't matter. But of course, your giving is demonstrating faith in that account. Praise God. Oh, glory, my time is up. <laughs> oh, Father, we give you praise. Thank you for this truth. Thank you for this revelation. Thank you for your light that is working in us. And we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, go out this weekend and enjoy everything that you need to withdraw from heaven and receive your supplies in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever.